I was nervous about finding my son a school, and she invited me to come over, see the school, and speak to her about West End Day. And I walked into her office, sat down. She had a big smile for me. She made me a cup of tea, so I felt instantly relaxed. Well, clearly her favorite beverage is tea. <laughs> She's never without her teapot whistling or offering it to everyone that she knows. Since I've known Nancy, I've switched from being a coffee drinker to a tea drinker. We're a school that would never send a letter to a family talking about whether they were accepted or not accepted. I think Nancy is the only admissions director in New York City that sits down with a family, talks to them about their child. The whole attitude was kind of, it's going to be fine, he's going to succeed here, and it was just like, we, I think we both felt like a weight had lifted off our shoulders after that first conversation with her. An intelligent woman with a fantastic sense of humor whose warmth just emanates from her. He's, you know, I think she makes like everybody feels comfortable because she's she's direct. She tells you, she doesn't make like you just think, oh, what did she think? What is he coming? Mm -hmm. But she's kind and too. She's so kind. it's like because you're, you yes. know, you're mm -hmm. sensitive yeah. in those no. ears. Nancy, uh, it's the one that makes sure each of our classrooms can shine and work together. Our first meeting with Nancy was um, really, at first it made my hair stand on end. Secondarily, it felt like we were in the right place at the right time. And I remember at the time being so incredibly impressed by this woman, not just professionally, but as a human being. And I remember thinking at the time, if I ever needed a place for my child, I know that this is where I would send my child. And then years later, I had a child who needed a place. And when the public system was clearly not going to work, I remembered that really nice lady from that sweet little school on the Upper West Side. <laughs> We all know how unique West End Day School is as a school. Um, the minute you walk in the door, you can feel the warm, friendly atmosphere. People do not let you go by in the hallways without saying hello. And when I think about Nancy, I think about her as one of the people who is the heart of West End Day School. Mm -hmm. Oh, but nothing like, nothing's yeah. like West mm -hmm. End Day School. We knew that Miguel was very bright, uh, very hyperactive, uh, needed to handle that, needed to handle impulse control, while at the same time continue to be in an environment where he was challenged. He was intellectually challenged and emotionally uh, challenged as well. And as we were looking at schools um, for possible placements, he kept saying to me, you know, Mommy, we don't need to look at other schools because we know that the school for me to go to is West End Day. That and the fact that the school made it him gave him that kind of confidence to take that next step is huge. And then I'm still like, you know, I think we're all still like <laughs> wanting to be back in that little womb of West End Day School where Absolutely. everything was so It was so safe, perfect. so comfortable. Yeah. A different environment. It's, you know, you feel like you're part of a family. It's warm, it's nurturing. It's, it's so different from other um, schools in that respect. And that's, you know, one of the main attributes of West End Day and it's, uh, it, that's what makes it unique. Nancy's created uh, a process for families where they really feel safe and they feel comfortable. And I think that the children who come to WEDS are all very bright children and they just really need a proper educational setting to succeed and shine. And I think that really does start with Nancy Nasser. Came back to pick up Miguel and Nancy called me to her office and said, uh, he's a hands full. We can only have one of his in the classroom, but he's great. Uh, we want him in the school. We love West End Day School. The first person I met when I came here was Miss Nasser. Yeah, I remember Miss meeting Miss Nasser when I first came here. She made me be a part of the school. It's a really nice school. It's small. Um, you can make really, really good friends here. When I came here, Miss Nass asked, asked me if I was this scared, this scared, or this scared. Well, are you a little scared? 
a lot, um, a little more scared or a lot scared. Well, I'm not scared. I'm not exactly totally scared. Now it just feels normal. I had quite a different experience with uh, Nancy, which was also um, very positive. But I remember coming here after um, I had gone to four or five or six schools and uh, Jonathan, unfortunately, was not accepted in any of the schools. So by the time I, I got to this school, it was by far my last resort. And I don't know if I looked desperate. Um, I definitely felt desperate. And when I saw Nancy, she had looked at Jonathan's papers and uh, um, she said that, that Jonathan would definitely be a candidate for Western Day School. And uh, she said to me, you know, I don't think he's ready. I would love to have him here, but I don't think this year is going to work. And my heart just sank. I remember crying. I really was. And I said, I don't know what I'm going to do. I need to place him someplace. And she said to me, you know what, come with me. She took my hand and she took me upstairs in one of the classrooms. And she said, this is where Jonathan would be if he was in the school today. You let me know if you think he belongs. Hmm. I said, just hang around and go and sit by one of the desks and just wait there, take as long as you want and just let me know if you believe that Jonathan belongs here. If you do, I'll take Jonathan. And, and if you don't, and if you don't, then it's entirely up to you. She said to me, it's your decision. It's not my decision anymore. So I sat for about half an hour and I realized that he just wasn't ready for that class. If Jonathan would have been in that class that day, it, it wouldn't do well. You know, the school had to be right for Jonathan and Jonathan had to be right for the school. Mm -hmm. And I just sat there and then I walked mm -hmm. out and I said, Nancy, you are so right. It just doesn't belong here. He needs another year to straighten and to get better. And that's, uh, that's exactly what happened. The difference is so substantial um, that it's hard to put words to it. I don't know, I look at it like the future for him will be very bright and we'll just ask um, that all institutions have this kind of open look at things and hopefully Jordan will soar um, like the bird that once watched over him. She was a very good reminder of who Jared was and what, what we could expect for him. When sometimes on a day-to-day -day basis we would forget and become um, um, frustrated. It's very helpful to have Nancy remind us how far he did come, how far he has come, and what challenges remain. What has always been striking about Nancy is her capacity to say things. You know, uh, in psychotherapy or working with people in any kind of counseling, it's not just the words you say, but it's how you say it. After Nancy came walking in his office, and I had no idea who she was, but we struck up a conversation immediately, and I thought, if this person works at West End Day School, this is where I want to work. And she was wearing one of her fabulous necklaces that day, as she always does. So our first meeting was very um, intense, yet um, interesting. And by the end, I told Ida that I think she's the good witch from The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> that comes to mind is reassuring, because uh, she always make you, made you feel better. Um, sweet, dedicated, down to earth. Carl's success in school um, was really, really great and something that we, you know, had hoped for, um, but something that I think she and, and, and other staff here really made possible. She's good she's for the kids and she's good for the adults too. She really knows how to, what, how to blend and she just brings people together and kind of, she just gets to the heart of things. Without having you at the school, to welcome us and open the door for us to learn about West End Day, I'm not sure that we would have found the school or we would have stayed at the school. So the role you've played has been instrumental to our family personally and for all the families that have been at West End Day for 40 years. So congratulations on 40 years of working at West End Day and thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And I speak, I think, for all the parents at West End Day. Thank you so, so much for everything you've given us. Well, 40 is a big number. 
I didn't know that Miss Nasser was here for 40 years. Wow. Congratulations, Miss Nasser. Congratulations for being here for 40 years. I hope you stay in here longer. Oh,